Today we can be thankful to God for this free SHS policy and the future for Ghana. And from 2009, I started talking about the fact that the best level for which our education should terminate must be a secondary school. In the next 20 years from now, we will see the beauty of it and the blessing of the free SHS education. We may think it is too much uh, expensive. We are investing so much money into it. But hear me carefully. We are sacrificing for a better generation 20 years from now. An educated society is a progressive society. An educated society is a civilized society. An educated society makes governance and democracy better. Today, most of our political leaders who are coming from the north, the new speaker of parliament, Honorable Abagbami, our vice president, Dr. Baumia, the former president, John Mahama, and all the wonderful people in political leadership from the north are beneficiaries of free SHS and the Kwame Nkrumah. Today, they are leading our country. So do you understand that a free SHS, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, will make Ghana one of the leading nations on the continent of Africa. It is painful today. The investment is too high, but the benefit will be too glorious that Ghana will become one of the leading African countries in Africa when it comes to the quality of its human resources. I am a visionary leader. I teach on development of vision, how to craft a vision and lead vision. By the grace of God, I'm an expert in that field. And hear me, every vision must be greater than the visionary leader. Every vision, if it is worth it, must outlive its visionary leader. So this particular vision of the free SHS is one of the best gifts Ghana can ever have. Because an educated society would break the poverty cycle. When you are educated, it takes away your poverty. When people are educated, our girls would not marry at the age of 18 when they know that they have education and then they go to university, they will not marry and become a dropout at the age of 18. When you are also educated, you know as a mother how to take care of yourself. When women are going to bring forth children, they wouldn't just die with the pregnancy because education will save them from this unnecessary death. The problem we can all have, and I know you are thinking like that, is that when someone like us we speak on this subject, then they say, yeah, he belongs to the NDP. And then now when you make another statement again, yeah, he belongs to the NDC. So every time, whatever you do, people will tag you, people will label you. But some of us, we don't belong to any of the two. We speak what must be addressed and what must be handled.